Alrighty, so my name is Steven Billigan and we're doing a beer tasting here at Wines Limited. Um, I'm tasting Duvel, Parat, and Gudendrak in that order. Um, and Duvel is usually hovering anywhere between 8 to 9 percent, usually around 8. Uh, the Gudendrak and Parat are usually around 10.5 percent and they're much stronger. Uh, this is from the Morgat family and this is from Van Steeberg uh, from Belgium. Uh, all of which are Belgian beers. So the first one I'm going to try is the Duvel, which is going to be the latest out of them all. Uh, and that one is actually rated really high. Um, and Beer Advocate, I think it's like 96 points uh, at the moment. And uh, the Morgat family is famous for making this beer because they left Belgium to get different ingredients from Scotland, from Germany, different hops, different malts, and different yeasts. Uh, so. Look at the head. Nice head retention, got nice lacing. Has a nice smell, really like brit, like light bready kind of smell to it. And it's really approachable by anybody that isn't insane about craft beer. Um, and also renowned to be like one of the better ones in general. So, the next one will be the Parat, and that's the Van Steenberg, 10.5%. It's labeled as a golden ale, and has uh, very a lot of characteristics that are very much like, uh, like an IPA, very bitter. The malt comes through though. You definitely could smell it, but again, it's like really explosive bitterness, which is like signature for this beer. Um, people from all over um, search for this beer um, because of the fact that for a Belgian golden ale or an IPA lover that likes beers on the bitter side, uh, they really like this one. The malt definitely comes through, it's kind of like smoother than a lot of like American. IPAs or anything like that. So, if you don't like a hot bomb, it's a good choice. And then the Golden Drock, which is 10.5% as well. And this one is, I think, classified as a Belgian dark ale or strong dark ale. 10.5%. It pours kind of dark, especially when you have a bigger glass, but it kind of has like a, am like a dark amber brown color to it. And get like a lot of dark fruits out of it. Um, and a little bit of alcohol, but not too bad, not too much, basically. Malt comes through like all the way, um, but not in a bad way. Uh, pretty rounded at the end. And in the glass, this has like excellent head. I remember pouring one, and the head was like this high, and it took about 20 minutes for it to go down. All around, uh, excellent beer. Um, so, Duvel, Parat, and Gundrak. I did it in that order because lightest to heaviest, darkest, um, all outstanding Belgian kind of tradition, Belgian classics, staples in kind of Belgian beer. So, if you're looking to expand your palate in craft beer or beer in general, these are really good staples to start with.